Hi there, this is Saul Chiron from Saul Chiron Films and welcome to another random review. Today's random review is from 1981 and it's The Appointment starring Edward Woodward um, and Jane Merrow directed by Lindsay Vickers who is not perhaps a very familiar name. He only ever made two films and there's reasons for that that this excellent release by BFI goes into detail. This is a film that was kind of meant to be um, in theatres in the UK and sold for television in the US as one of a series of kind of chilling supernatural um, films that never actually happened and fell through and then the film was kind of lost um, until BFI have resurrected it brilliantly. Um, this is a film that I'm not going to go into much of a plot because there isn't actually much of a plot. This is a film that is about atmosphere and dread and stillness. It's got one of the most unnerving and effective pre-credit sequences which was actually only added at the last minute because the producers told um, the director you need a pre-credit hook so when it's on television nobody will switch channels because they'll be hooked and it does a really good job. Um, and then we actually get to the the meat of the film, which is about a family, which consists of a mother, a father, and a 14-year-old daughter. And the 14-year-old daughter is a bit of a prodigy um, in music class, and is kind of treated um, in a special way at school and in the home. She has a perhaps unnatural set of feelings for her father, who Edward Woodward is completely oblivious to. He just dismisses it as, oh, she's a teenager. Um, but Jane Merrow can kind of see what's going on in the danger. Um, there is, they live in this suburban home but there is a local area of woods that things have happened in in the past. There's a sense of foreboding. Um, we're not quite sure what Edward Woodward does but he has to go um, and give evidence because there's been an accident um, in one of the factories that might actually be mines um, that he's or his company is responsible for um, and unfortunately it means he's going to miss his daughter's final exam uh, performance which she's not happy about um, and then both Edward Woodward and Jane Merrow have strange dreams there's weird appearances of Rottweilers. There's lots of creeping camera work. There seems to be a force doing things. Um, but eventually Edward Woodward goes off to the place, much to the the child's disappointment and that's all I'm going to say it has like I said it's got an amazing 
pre-credit sequence. It has an amazing set piece near the end of the film. But in between, it is one of those slow burns. All about atmosphere. All about dread. And kind of the feeling that something's controlling something is going to happen, a build up um, there is a spectacular death at one point as well um, not of the any of the family members it's just a wonderful odd little gem which again the BFI has resurrected brilliantly. This is part of the flip side range. It's number 44. I do love the fact that BFI have kind of went to these kind of indicator cases. Um, it has a booklet. But the extras are really um, where it's at. Um, this has a commentary by Lindsay Vickers from 2021. Um, there's a 41 minute interview with Kim, um, Kim Vickers, um, Lindsay Vickers, which is, um, he's interviewed by Vic Pratt, who obviously works for the BFI, and it's a, it's a pretty moving interview. Um, Vickers was an AD for Hammer, so he worked in some Dracula films. He talks about how he was grown up post-war and he just didn't kind of fit in. In films were a kind of safe haven for him. Um, talks about a family member locking him in closets in Victorian houses for a laugh. And he talks about the short film, which is on this disc as well, which I'll get to. And then this film, but then there was problems with a couple of the producers and it was such a really upsetting experience for him that he basically never made films again and he talks about how he always feels like he's been haunted his whole life that nothing ever works out for him and it's actually quite sad and quite moving because um, you do kind of instantly kind of like the guy who's obviously in his 70s or early 80s at this point um, so that's a wonderful interview for 41 minutes um, there's a 16 minute interview with Jane Merrow where she talks about um, her journey and how she ended up in the appointment um, there's a 7 minute interview with Lindsay and his wife um, Jan who co-wrote the film there's another 19 minute piece with Lindsay Vickers and Vic Pratt looking through old Polaroids of the shoot, which are fascinating. And again, it's a, a wonderful extra. And there's a 10 minute piece with assistant director. Um, and then we have the 33 minute short, The Lake from 1978, um, which is actually on the BFI's um, short sharp shocks volume one set because i knew i'd seen it as soon as it started it was like and i couldn't think of where i'd seen it from um and that also has a commentary by vickers and there's also an 18 minute interview with julie peasgood who's in the lake and i think that extra is on the short sharp shocks which is quite hard to say um so the the edition by BFI is absolutely stacked. It's a it's a kind of sad and moving story, both the film and the kind of history of Lindsay Vickers. Um how he was kind of upset that he didn't really get any offers after this. There was nobody to kind of say, Well, oh, whatever your next thing is, um, we'll finance. And he always was a kind of more the creative type rather than the business type. Um, so it's a really, 
you know, it's a kind of melancholy, strange, um, dread-filled film. And it's also a bit of a sad, tragic what-if story. Because um, as he talks about cinema and making films was his dream. Um, and obviously for the last 40 years he's made nothing. Um, because again, he just didn't want to go through that stress um, and upset that happened um, at the end of the filmmaking pro progress, um, process or um, no, during the end of the shoot. So it's an absolutely wonderful release by BFI that for the sake of Lindsay Vickers, I think everybody should go out and buy a copy. So even if you don't like the two films that are on it, um, you should get some enjoyment out of the extras, which are top notch. It's another wonderful flip side released by BFI. I can also recommend I Start Counting, which came out last year um, with Jenny Agutter, which is also phenomenal and a wonderful release by BFI. Um, so yeah, the appointment, go out and buy it and um, support Lindsay Vickers because it's a wonderful, strange little film. So thanks very much for watching this random review of The Appointment and hopefully you'll join me again for more video appointments. Please let me know in the comments below if you've seen The Appointment and what you think of it. And hopefully you'll join me again for more random reviews. This is Solitary Ronan from Solitary Ronan Films saying farewell.